Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Platinum Balance. This is a, uh, like a mid-level, I guess, fountain pen from Platinum. Um, huge thanks to Trufe for sending out their ink box, or their subscription box, rather, that has pens and ink in it. Um, definitely check out that video. Um, this was in that box, and I've had it for a while, and I haven't done a review yet, just because... Um, this pen's had me up in the air about some of the stuff, but we'll touch on that. Um, I'll get into what I like, what I'm kind of neutral towards, what I dislike, um, do a size comparison, writing sample, all that great stuff. And then I'll let you know my overall thoughts on this pen. Alright, on to the size comparisons. So I have a few odd choices here, and I'll explain myself real quick. Um, at the bottom we have the Platinum Balance, obviously. Right above that we have the Platinum 3776. <clears throat> and this is Platinum's entry-level gold nib pen. Depending on where you get it, it's between, it's between like twenty and a hundred dollars more than this pen is down here. Um, but they're fairly similar in size. The one thing I will say is the Platinum thirty seven seventy six is ever so slightly longer and a little bit wider as well. Maybe a little hard to tell on camera, but you can definitely tell in person. Just keep that in mind. Up above that, we have the Conklin Duraflex, and I put this up here because for about fifty dollars, you can get a Conklin Duragraph. So this pen is in a similar price range, at least this body style. Um, because they're the exact same body style, the Duraflex and Duragraph, same thing. And up above that, we have my personal favorite entry in this price point, which is the Twisby 580, or 580 All. Um, so you can see both of these pens up here are quite a bit longer than, than the uh, Platinum Balance. A little bit wider too, but not by nearly as much. Alright, on to the uncapped size comparison same order so you can see here is where it <clears throat> uh, changes things up a bit <laughs> at least so it instantly dwarfs the 3776 the 3776 is a very short pen it just is um, it's not unusable but when uncapped it's newer close to the the platinum balance it's probably a good quarter inch shorter uh, maybe a little bit more the Conklin Duragraph or Duraflex in this case um, is a very, very similar length. Um, the exception with that is the Duragraph has a size 6 nib. So the actual pin body from um, end cap to the, the end of the section is a little bit shorter. Keep that in mind. And finally, the Twisby 580, 580 All is of a very similar size to the Platinum Balance. Just overall, um, until you factor in the nib, the nib is a little bit longer because um, it's this number five size nib compared to the Platinum's proprietary nib sizing. So all of these are um, obviously a lot different uncapped, but it still keeps up pretty well. It's still a very middling sized pen. All right, on to what I like about it. So first up is the design. Um, I actually really like this. This is a super classy, simplistic looking pen. I think the green and gold go very, very well together. And for the most part, the, the green, especially from a distance, looks almost like a flat color. But when you pull it up close, you can see there actually is some depth to this. The material has some chatoyance and a little bit of swirling going on in certain areas. Um, the closer you get to it, the nicer it looks. And um, it, it's, it's very nice. Um, someone in my unboxing video commented that this pen appeared that it has scratches on it. It does not. Uh, as far as I can tell, there are no scratches on this pen. Um, maybe some micro scratching from where I've been using it for months, but everything looks fine. What you're probably seeing is that little bit of like glitter kind of effect, which is what it almost looks like. It's, it's, a, it's very subtly shiny, almost like car paint. Um, very, very interesting kind of uh, finish on the material they use here with a kind of uh, gold-toned clip and cat band and platinum written in there in that same shade. I think it's very nice. They do have Japan embossed in the green right there beside it. Um, there's a little bit of a, a change in material up here where the cap is. You can see probably more than, more than likely where the clip was inserted and screwed down. And there's a tiny little gate blush here at the bottom so you can tell this has been injection molded but the material for the pen is very very nice and there are no seams or anything like that the material does change here on the grip on um, the grip is just a solid flat green material and the gold continues as well and onto the nib I really like this nib as well it is 
I believe it's a Japanese fine, honestly. It's it's a bit hard to tell, but it's it's fairly smooth. Um, flow is pretty good. It's not my favorite nib and is not my favorite flow by any means, but it's it's not unresponsive or poor or anything like that. But it's a, a fairly nice, fairly responsive nib. The I have some um, Organic Studio ink in here, so I apologize for the coloring of the feed, but it is semi-transparent, and it's a little bit difficult to see that, especially right now. But the feed is semi-transparent, so if you're using a, a less gaudy ink, you may see a bit more of that. The clip on this pen is very nice. It's it's very minimalistic. The only thing it really has is there's like a, a pen striping line kind of going around it, but it's very, very functional. It doesn't have a ton of ramp, but I haven't really found that to be an issue, oddly enough. Um, jeans, it wasn't super easy to get into, but shirt pockets and stuff, it goes right over, and it fits very, very well with the design of the pen. I think it's very unobtrusive and adds kind of a, a nice pop to it. Size-wise, I like this pen quite a bit. Um, it fits pretty well in my hand. You can see it comes back a little bit farther than the, than the 3776. It has a very long section. It's not too narrow, although it does narrow down quite a bit. And there's a bit of a flare out, so you don't worry about losing your, uh, your grip on it when you're holding it. Normally, I am not a big fan of proprietary converters, but Platinum makes some of my favorite. And just so you know, there, there is ink in here. It's just not very much. Um, Platinum makes some of my favorite converters. There's a bit of an issue, but we'll come back to that later. But the converter is very nice. I really, really like platinum converters, even if they are proprietary. This pen will stay wet for a very long time as well. Um, the capping is very, very good, and it's very satisfying click as well. Very, very responsive. Very nice, um, satisfying click there. Speaking of the cap. This pen posts very, very well, honestly. Um, it's one of my favorite pens to post that I've ever used um, because it adds a bit of weight to the back, which we'll come, we'll come to later. Um, but it does make the pen a little bit longer. Not a ton, honestly, because of how deeply it caps. It does cap, or post, rather, to about there. So you're getting, you know, about 60% of the cap there um, all the way down to the end of that pen. All right, on to what I am neutral towards. So... Fit and finish. Um, I'm not expecting a ton from this pen, but there's a little bit of a tiny gap in between the cap band and the cap, little stuff like that. Um, you can kind of feel the seam from where this up here is present. It's not horrible, but it's there. The gate blush is a little sharp. Um, it just feels like they could have spent a bit more time on this pen. Um, for the price range, I'm not expecting a ton, but something would have been nice. Same thing here, a little bit of a gap. Um, it's not great. The edges here are kind of sharp where there's the step up. And it's a long section, so it probably won't bother you, but it is there. It is present. Overall, the build quality feels pretty good. It feels pretty durable, but the fit and finish on that build is just not super, super great. All right, on to what I dislike about the pen. There's not a ton here, but there there is a bit. Um, the number one thing is the price. So this pen, for the most part, retails for around $44. Now, for $44, you're getting, an, a, a, honestly, an, a pretty decent pen. Um, I honestly wish that this was down to about $30. Bucks. I think at $30, it's a great price. And if you search certain places, you can find them for about $35, which isn't bad. But in other places, they go up to around $50. And I think for 35, you're getting a, a, a decent deal. I think for 44 bucks, you can probably add a tiny bit more and do a little bit better. Now that being said, if you really like the way this pen looks, or you've written with it and you really like the way it writes, or if you're looking for a finer nib, something good in this price range, this pen's not necessarily going to let you down, but the price could be a little bit more competitive. Um, I really think they could do better there. Last thing, and I, I hate this on platinum pens. It really, really pisses me off. Matching gold converter, which does not come with a pen, by the way, adding another $5 to the price, so keep that in mind. Gold converter, gold accents on pen, silver, you know, 
section to body threading. Why would they do that? That drives me insane when they do that. It makes me so, so, so angry. Obviously, I want the pen to be entirely gold and green. Why are you bringing this silver bit in here? And they do it on all of their pens. The 3776 has it. Any of their pens that I've found that have the metal attaching the section to the body has that silver. Whether it's a pen with gold accents or silver accents, it's there. And it's a little bit annoying. I really, really wish they would change that. It sounds minor, but they do it constantly, and I feel like no one's complaining about it. Yeah, it's not great. All right, on to the writing sample. So here we have, if I can get it to write, I've been uncapping it and capping it back pretty frequently. Really don't experience many hard starts with this pen, to be honest. Okay, it's a bit of a weird P, but it's fine. Here we have the Platinum Balance. Once again, thanks to Truefay for sending out that box that had this in it. I probably wouldn't have tried this pen out otherwise. It's a pretty good pen. And I believe this has a fine nib. I say I believe so because there's no nib marking on it, which is a little frustrating. And the ink, if I can get out what's left of it. is Organic Studio. I believe it is Walden Pond. So the pen, as you can tell, there's there's no skipping or anything like that. The, the nib, um, one of the reasons I complained about the price a bit is the nib is actually just about the same nib that they use on some of their lower price models, but honestly it performs fairly well. Um, and if this nib looks a bit familiar to you, it is because if you look at my Classics Machier video, it uses a very similar nib style, but it's a gold nib. Honestly, I prefer this steel nib over that gold nib, which kind of says something, but um, it's not bad but it's not super great, but yeah, there's no marking on there, and it's it's kind of a weird shape. You can notice a bit of a taper, kind of right there where it drops off almost. Very strange, but not bad. So, there we go. Again, normally no hard starts, but there's very little ink in this pen, and I keep waving around. Um, I've noticed when uncapped, this pen dries out a bit fast. Keep that in mind. It's not necessarily a negative for me. I really take quick notes at work. So, not a huge thing for me. Um, you can get a tiny bit of line variation. However, this is uh, two things. It is a steel nib and it is a small nib. So, line variation is not necessarily going to happen all that often if I can get this pen to write at all. Okay, I think I'm out of ink. <laughs> That's alright though. Um, because I, I got basically what I was trying to show you. So, if you look here... You can see there is, you can get a bit of line variation um, depending on how light and heavy handed you are. Be very careful, don't spring the nib. It's small, it's steel, it's not really made for line variation. But you can get a little bit out of it if you really, really try. All right, on to the conclusion. So, what do I think about this pen? I think that this is a medium sized pen. For a medium sized price that is very middle of the pack in terms of construction, performance, material. It's pretty. Is it the prettiest pen out there? No, not really. It's not the ugliest either. It's a decent writer. Is it the best writer out there? No. No, it's not. Um, it's also not nearly the worst. I've had a lot of crappy pens. Um, is it the biggest that you can get this price range? No. Is it the smallest? No. This is a very middle-of-the-road fountain pen. And to be honest, I think you can do better for this price range. You can also do a lot worse. Um, so I would recommend this pen if and only if you really like the design. If you see some of the colors that you like, you know, grab it. If you're into this kind of minimalist, rounded kind of aesthetic that it has going on, you know, sure. It's not bad. Um, it's not going to let you down. It probably won't irritate you or anything like that. Um, but it's not the best, and it's not the worst. And 
that being said, I'll probably forget about this pen in a month or two. Um, and it took me a while to review just because of that that kind of thing where it's just it's so average that it's it's just average. It's average in everything, you know. And it's mm, I think it could be exceptional at twenty five dollars. It could be pretty good at thirty bucks. At thirty five dollars, it's 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 good. At forty four dollars, it's okay. Um, I wouldn't pay fifty dollars for this pen, honestly. I, I wouldn't pay say thirty dollars for this pen. It's just not my thing. Um, because normally when I when I'm trying to look for a pen, I'm trying to look for exceptional performance or something unique or something great. And this pen isn't great. It's not unique, but it is good and it is reliable. And if that's what you need, this might be just what you're looking for. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, feel free to check out my other videos, and I've uploaded a while. I'm trying to get back into that. And if you have any questions about this pen or any other pens, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll take a look try to help you out. Thanks, guys. Bye.